it's me, Crazy Mario Bros, and this is my 2022 Mario Plus collection. Honestly, if I had to put a price on all this, it'd be a pretty hefty one. This is a lot of stuff, and it's especially a lot more than last year. Before we get into this, we're really close to 50,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe down below because we could probably hit it this month with all the help of you guys. And with that being said, let's get right into the collection. Now, obviously, the first category we're gonna start on is the Luigi's. I'm kidding, we're gonna start on the Mario. Now, obviously, the first one we're gonna show off is this Mario, which is the Mario that is in all of my videos is the star of the show. He's in every single one of my mainline videos and yeah. And if you haven't seen my plus videos on my main channel, then I don't even know how you're watching this video right now. But yeah, this is my first Mario plush. He's very old and he's the one that I use in every single one of my videos. So yeah, he's a very special one. Definitely the most valuable one to me, but there's a lot more valuable ones in this collection as you'll see later. Here we have a newer model of Mario. Now this is actually an older model. This is from like 2009, but I think these are from like 2015. These are a newer model called the All-Star plushies. If you see my last unboxing video, then you would know what an all-star plushie is. They're basically just the new plushies that they make nowadays. We pretty much just have a bunch of really random Marios. Like, we have this Super Mario World Mario. This Mario Party 5 Mario. This Baby Mario. We have this Mario that's actually holding a mushroom. I know you can't really see it, but it's there. You have these two Kelly Toy Marios, and we have another one up there. Obviously, these things are super derpy. They look really weird, but I think that's the charm that they have. These plushies are really goofy looking, and honestly, I, I applaud Kelly Toy for that. They got their own unique look to them. And I didn't realize there was a fourth one there, so yeah, I'm very into Kelly Toy. We got another Mario right here that's just like my main one. They come from the same plush line, and so does this one and this one. Uh, don't question why this one doesn't have a mustache. It's from a video. Actually, right here, we have a toy Mario plushie. Now, I know that name probably sounds confusing, but I promise you it'll make sense in a second. So this is the plushie that I have. Apparently, it's called Mechanical Mario, but I just call it Toy Mario because that's kind of what he is. I mean, he's like a wind-up toy in the game. This is one that I just picked up recently, and honestly, he's really cool. I don't know what video I'm going to make out of him, but I think it's a really cool toy. Here's the cover of one of the actual games, and that's pretty much what he looks like. He's like a little wind-up toy. On the back of the plushie, he does have that little yellow thing which you're supposed to wind so yeah pretty cool toy i think it's also a japanese exclusive so you know there's a lot of things to like about that one here you actually have three wing cap mario plushies and the reason for this is because literally every time i get a wing cap mario the buttons always fall off sometimes they don't even come with buttons at all it's just it's really confusing okay i really want a wing cap mario that has buttons okay look at it like it has one button it doesn't have another one i don't think this one has any and i don't think this one yeah see this one just has one button i don't know what my luck is the buttons are just they're just non-existent i don't know what's wrong with it right over here we have a mario from the world of nintendo line personally i don't really like this line but i can see why they're made we have this little mario odyssey plushie i don't really know what this is i don't think it's an official plushie Whoa, wait i take it back I, I know it's an official plushie but it's not really like it's not really meant to be like a main big plushie like these ones it's kind of just you know it's kind of like the world of nintendo one it's not meant for like super plush collectors here we got this little arcade mario i think i got this from goodwill i don't remember and back there we got a very big mario i think that's over 12 inches i don't remember now we're gonna get into the different mario variants so here we have three fire mario plushies here's the oldest one which looks the most like my original and here we have fire mario holding a fire flower plushie from the super mario galaxy plush line it comes from the same line as this one so the mario holding a mushroom is also from the super mario galaxy plush line i forgot to mention that. here we have a tanuki mario he's in his little raccoon suit here's mario in his squirrel suit i believe this is what happens when you have the acorn power up. here we have builder mario from super mario maker 2 here we have ghost mario from super mario galaxy although i believe he's been in other games too here we have b mario from super mario galaxy so all four of these plushies are from the super mario galaxy line so that line is over here we have a dr mario plushie here we have a metal mario plushie which i like calling robot mario but it's pretty much the same thing and here we have someone that i don't really know if it counts as part of the collection it's just this little wendy's toy it's kind of like a plush whenever i see it for sale they always call it a plushie so i'm just gonna count it all right i believe that is all the marios out of the way so now we're gonna move on to the luigi but obviously before we get into the luigi's we're gonna address this big luigi back here which is pretty much the same thing as that big mario i just didn't really have any room down there so i decided to put him up there so yeah there's a big luigi to. Now for the rest of the Luigi. So here you have the main Luigi that I use in my videos, and yes, I know he has a cut in his leg. For those of you who can't see, I'll put a picture on screen. I know there's a cut in his leg. I don't trust anybody to sew it for me, so unless I find someone I really trust, then just don't ask me. Here we actually have three all-star Luigis. Now, why do I have three? I actually don't know. That's that's a very good question. I don't know why I have three. I really wasn't expecting to have three. When I was going through the collection, I was surprised with how many I had. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, two of these literally still have the hooks on them, so clearly I had no intent with them. I don't know. I'll figure out what to do with them eventually. Here we have a baby Luigi plushie. Here we have two Mario Party 5 Luigi plushies. Here we have this little nightmare demon baby. If you want answers for what this is, go watch my video, The Magical List. It'll explain everything. Here we have this Luigi. I don't really know what it actually is, so if anybody knows, tell me in the comments. And yeah, now let's go to all the variants. So we have this Luigi with the poltergeist. This comes from Luigi's Mansion when he sucks up the ghost. Honestly, I haven't really played that much of that game, so I have to learn more about it. But once I do, it'd be really cool to make a video with this thing. Pretty cool plushie. Here we have Luigi riding a yellow Yoshi. I believe this is from the new Super Mario Bros. Wii line, which is actually the same line that my original 
Mario comes from. So yeah, pretty cool. Here we have a Fire Luigi plushie. Here we have a Builder Luigi plushie. And here we have a Tanuki Luigi. So I believe that's all the Luigi. So now we're going to move on to the Toad. So here we have three Toad plushies. Now, why do I have three Toads? Because the sound of Toads are beautiful. <laughs> that's... That's a complete lie. Here we have two blue toads, because as I said in my last unboxing video, I wasn't actually expecting to get a blue toad for Christmas, so I kind of just have two blue toads now. I'm not really sure what to do with them. Here we have two toadettes, and the reason for two toadettes is because this is one I got for Christmas, while this is one that I won in a giveaway from Super Mario Richie. Unfortunately, somewhere around a month of receiving it, the plushie kind of broke, and he offered to fix it for me, but I don't know how to ship, so I just didn't really think it was worth the time. But I do appreciate him for the offer. Here we have a Captain Toad plushie, and if you've ever played Captain Toad, then you know that there's something wrong with this plushie. That's because I tried I tried making a Halloween video last year where one of my characters was dressed up as Captain Toad, but I ended up not finishing it, so that's kind of what happened here. He got some of his stuff cut off. Don't worry, I'll buy another one. Here we have a blue cat toad, and we have two Mario Party 5 toad plushies. These things are friggin' adorable. What more can I say? Okay, now let's move on to the princesses and the other random characters. Here we have the main Princess Peach that I use in my videos. Here we have the Mario Party 5 Princess Peach. Over there we have Baby Peach. Right here we have Cat Peach, and here we have Daisy. I don't really use Daisy in my videos. Honestly, I could never find Daisy. Daisy whenever I needed her for a video, so to those of you who are wondering about the lack of Daisy, that's why I lose my plushies all the time. Right here we have Birdo, and here we have Pom Pom. Don't worry, I have Boom Boom somewhere else as well. I don't actually remember what category he's in. Now that that category's out of the way, let's move on to the Wario's and Waluigi's. Now this was my original Wario. I don't actually remember how I got this one, but I know I've had it since the start of the channel. I believe I bought him at Walgreens, which is a very odd place to get plushies, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. As you can see, he's got his hat wrapped around his head, just like my Mario is. If you're wondering why I did this, it's because when I was younger, I ended up cutting the hat off my Mario and not knowing how to put it back on. So I ended up cutting out all the stuffing of his hat and then just wrapping it around his hair and it made it stick. So yeah, that's why this Wario looks like this. Obviously, it looks a lot worse on Wario than it does on Mario. So I never really use this one. Which is why I have this guy. Now, this guy actually looks a lot better than my original. I'm gonna be honest. Now, I know I'm the guy who always has bias for my original plushies, but honestly, I do really prefer this one. This one's really Good. And you know I gotta have a stunt double of him because, I mean, you can never have enough Wario. But you can have enough Waluigi's. I actually do not know why I have another one. But whatever, it could come in handy. Wah! I, I don't know how Waluigi sounds. I think it's had something like this, right? And here we got the Donkey Kong section. Where we have the Mario Party 5 Donkey Kong. Obviously, this is the one that I'm going to be using in videos. I've already used them before. If I do decide to use them again, then here he is. This is the one that I would use. Right here, we have a BDNA Donkey Kong that I actually just got recently. And the tag proves how old this is. But he's still got his own little charm to him. Right here, we have Diddy Kong. And for some reason, I couldn't make him look up. <sighs> That's just how his plushie works. But he's got a pretty cool Nintendo hat, though. This is why I said I want to bring Donkey Kong back. Because I do have a Diddy Kong. And I'm not really sure what to do with them. So I think it'd be pretty funny if he came back. And here we have a newer Donkey Kong. Kong that's actually holding a barrel. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's pretty cool to have. Here we have a lot of miscellaneous plushies and plushies that I couldn't fit on that side of the bed. So let's try and go through them in one breath. <gasps> Here we have a Power Star, a Blooper, a Banana Peel, a Yoshi Egg, a bob -omb, a Red Shell, another Red Shell, a 1-Up, a Mega Mushroom, a Polter Pop, a Power Moon, a Luma, a Boom Boom, a Kamek, and a I don't know what this thing is. Man, that was a lot to go through. Now it's important to note that I actually did not make these plushies, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say who did, so all I'll say is that it was made by someone who's very talented because I don't know how to make this stuff. This stuff is super cool. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Yoshi. So here we have the Yoshi that I mainly use in my videos. And obviously, I've got a stunt double for it. Here's a bright blue Yoshi. Here's a pink Yoshi, a white Yoshi, another bright blue Yoshi, a yellow Yoshi, an orange Yoshi, a Mario Party 5 green Yoshi, a red Yoshi, and here we have two medium-sized Mario Party 5 Yoshi. And we have a purple Yoshi over here, which I'm not sure why he's so separated from the other ones. Show your support from him. I guess he's sad or something. Maybe he doesn't like them. Maybe there's some kind of underlying beef. And and now we're going to move on to the biggest section of this collection, the Bowser section, the Bowser Jr. section, and all the enemies section. Which, obviously, we got to start out with the Goombas. We got three Goombas here. Here's my main one. Here's a new one that I got. And here is a Goomba with his mouth open. This one's really stupid. Me and my friends make fun of it all the time. Not sure what he's all angry at. I mean, I know all the Goombas are angry, but like, what is he so mad about, you know? Is he mad at the window? Because that seems to be what he's looking at. Here we got this little Koopa wind-up toy. I think it's called a Mecha Koopa. Here we have a Wiggler. This is a really long worm thing. Honestly, I really hated these things in the game when you had to try and step on them and they just wouldn't die. These things are pretty annoying. And they try to make him all cutesy in the games. Like, I just don't get it. He's so annoying. I don't get it. He's just, he's annoying, okay? He's a little rat, but he's not really a rat. He's, he's figuratively a rat. I hate him. Here we've got a chain jump plushie. These things are really annoying when they bark. Here we have a bob -omb plushie. This is a bigger one of the one we have down here. I just decided to put all the mini ones down here. Here we have a bullet bill. I believe I have a bigger version of this, but I guess I couldn't find it. Here we have two shy guys because, like I said in my last video, shy guys need more friends, okay? I need to get a lot more shy guys so they can all talk to each other. Here we have 
have a blooper squid, which like I said, is a bigger version of the one down there. Here we have a Lakitu. He's holding his little red turtle shell thing or whatever that thing is. I don't know if it's really a shell. It doesn't really have like an outline to it or anything. It's just kind of this little ball of spikes. Lakitu, that's dangerous. Here we have a Koopa plushie. We have a Paratroopa plushie. You can see his wings back there. And here we have a custom Kylie Koopa plushie. This custom Kylie Koopa was made by Crazy Koopa Bro. So make sure you subscribe to him. He deserves all your support. I know for a fact I have another Koopa plushie, but again, I just couldn't find them when I was organizing these. I'm not really sure why, but I'll probably put a picture of him on screen so you guys can see him. If you see this man, call the police. I'm just kidding. Don't actually call the police. Here I have a hammer row plushie, which again is one that I know I have another one of, but I don't know where he is. Here's proof that I have another one. I've used them in a video before. Here we have a Monty Mole, which is one that I'm surprised that I didn't have before because he's really funny looking. I'm surprised I didn't have him. Here's a plushie of Spike, which again is one of my least favorite enemies in the game because while he looks cute, he just, he throws these little spiky balls at you like an idiot. Just like Lakitu. God, I could call the feds on both of you guys. Here we have a Nabbit plushie. He's always stealing stuff. I don't really know why. Oh, wait, here's my other hammer bro plushie. Why is he not over there? Two brothers separated from one another. How could this happen? Here's another one of my Koopa plushies, which again, I don't know why it's not categorized over there, but there you go. Still not the one I was talking about earlier, but yeah, it's there. I believe this one is called Buzzy Beetle. So here's that. Here's a little spiny. Here's a dry bones, but I like to call this one zombie Koopa because kind of is one. Here we have a pokey plushie. This thing is really tall. And this is another one that I really hated in the game. This thing is super dangerous. Dangerous. Here we have a cheap cheap plushie. We have a boo plushie and I believe that's it for Bowser's minions Okay, now let's move on to the Koopa link. So here we have Roy Koopa I'm surprised that I don't have a stunt double of him because honestly, he's one of my favorites. Here's my Morton Koopa I do have a stunt double of him But like I said in the last video, this one is a little more yellow than that one So I'm probably gonna keep using that one in the videos when I use him again. Sorry new Morton You just look too different here We have Ludwig von Koopa and he does have his own stunt double But as I said in the video, it looks way too different. This one just looks way stupider than this one I know Ludwig always looks stupid, but this one's just too different for me. Here we have Iggy Koopa. He actually has two stun doubles. One right here and one right here. Iggy is such a silly man. Here we have Larry Koopa, who again has two stun doubles for himself. We have Lemmy Koopa, who has his own stun double too. Wendy Koopa, who also has her own stun double. And I believe that's it for the Koopalings. So now we can move on to Bowser Jr. Here's the main Bowser Jr. I use in my videos. Here are some of my stun doubles. I have one, two, three, and four. And before you ask, this one is supposed to look like a clown. I promise you it makes sense in the context of the video I used it in. And this one's actually a bootleg. This is the one that I started the channel with before I could afford that one. Now, this is another one that I was really surprised by when I was organizing the collection. I actually have three all-star Bowser Jr. plushies. Now, personally for me, I don't really like these plushies. They're really good, but I just don't know what to use them for. I wouldn't replace it with my main Jr. If anybody has any ideas for what idea I should make with them, then let me know in the comments. And here we have these two Koopa shells. I'm not really sure if these are for Jr. or Bowser, but it could really be one or the other. And there's another one right here, which I'm not really sure why it's not next to the other one. All right, now time for the final section, the Bowser section. First of all, we have the main one that I use in my videos. This is the Mario Party 5 Bowser plushie, and it took me so long on a bid to get this one. I mean, it didn't really take so long, but I was just spending so much time bidding. Super stressed out, thinking that I wasn't going to win it, and I was never going to get my dream Bowser plushie, but I did end up getting it. I got him in a bid with one of those medium Yoshi. He ended up being about $38, and it was totally worth the probably $100 shipping I spent. International shipping prices get pretty crazy. And with that being said, here's the Bowser that I used before this plushie. This is obviously a bootleg, but I just decided to include him because I'm including my bootleg junior as well. And as crappy as this is, I think they did a decent job at mocking it up. It's good enough. Here we have an all-star Bowser plushie. And like I said, with the juniors, I'm obviously not going to replace my main Bowser with him because, you know, this one's just too classy to the channel. He's got his own charm and I just love him the way he is. You know, I spent so much time bidding for him. So I'm going to use him the way that he should be. Ugh, I'm still really annoyed about that bid. Oh yeah, here's one that I forgot to mention in the Bowser Jr. section. We have a dry Bowser Jr. right here. Now that is a bootleg, but so is that one back there. There is a bootleg dry Bowser back there and it's actually a pretty good bootleg. Not the best, but it's pretty good. He gets the job done. Now here we have the official Dry Bowser plushie, and this is amazing. You can clearly see that they were aware of the bootlegs and they decided to take a different approach. And honestly, this is so freaking cool. I ended up using it in a video where Bowser was stuck in the oven. And honestly, it was just such a cool thing. This is one of the coolest Bowser plushies of all time. I just, I just love it so much. It's so cool. Props to you, Sine. You made a really insane plush here. Here we have a bootleg Dark Bowser plushie, which is from the Mario and Luigi games. And this is actually a really really good bootleg. I'm not going to lie. For being a bootleg, they did manage to get a lot of the details right about a typical Sine Bowser. So yeah, props to you, bootleg makers. You made something good. And the same goes for the final plushie I'm going to mention, the King Koopa plushie. Now, obviously this one is based on the Super Mario Bros. cartoons. And I think it's just also based on Bowser's original design in general. But I'm going to assume it was based on the cartoons. I freaking love those things. This is a very good bootleg, just like the Dark Bowser. And I'm not going to lie about that. This is just, this is really cool. Okay. Like it captures all the original elements of a typical Sine Bowser and somehow makes it better. Like I can't imagine just today make it a better version of this. It, it almost looks like an official one. It's very good. I give it a 10 out of 10. I don't know what to use it for. So like I said, if you guys
guys have ideas for what to do with this, tell me in the comments because I'm lost for ideas, but it's just so freaking cool. I want to use it. So now all I can really mention is the big plushies in the back. Here we have two Thwomp plushies. I believe the difference is that this one is meant to be a throw pillow and this one is meant to be an actual plushie. Back there we have this really big piranha plant thing. I'm not really sure what it is. It's not really a piranha plant because you can't like close his mouth that easily, but there's an attempt. Still a pretty cool plushie. Back there we have a Poochie plushie, which I believe is from Super Mario 3D World. If I'm wrong, please make fun of me. Back there we have a big red mushroom plushie, a big red shell plushie, and a big banana plushie. I know these plushies are kind of in the way, so just get out of the way. Big banana peel, big boy. Very good. I love it. Back there you have this little fish thing, which I don't really know its name. You have a piranha plant puppet, and here you have two more piranha plant plushies. And last but not least, you have these two warp pipe plushies, which honestly, I didn't even know these existed. So when I saw these at the store, I thought they were really cool. So I decided to pick them up. I think it'll be a pretty funny video, whatever I decide to make with them. So yeah, stay tuned. Pretty cool plushies, I will say. So yeah, that was my Mario plush collection of 2022. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. See you next video.